Blog Talk Radio. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my show. I'm your host, Diana Bevoros, award-winning and best-selling author, Fire and Ice, The Journey of Transformation, and The White Within. You can find out more about me on my website, dianabevoros.com, as well as download today's podcast and my past podcasts. I have been having the opportunity to meet a lot of talented people, especially now during the lockdown, and learn about uh, their music, their art, and everything they do. Uh, to um, make you um, everybody um, feel good for themselves and um, give them an example about how much they can do at home and uh, how happy they can feel for themselves because a lot of people experience loneliness, stress, anxiety. And I have been doing my uh, meditation every day at 5 o'clock on Facebook, sharing it uh, and uh, making sure that... um, Everybody feels good, everybody's healthy, and everybody's happy. So I have been having these questions about uh, what to do during the lockdown. So I was able to find some articles and share my um, daily work with you. Like, for example, yesterday I uh, recorded some songs from uh, because I speak different language languages uh, uh, for a friend uh, who was doing uh, some kind of event and I was singing yesterday and sending her my songs so this took me quite a while and um, I felt amazing for myself and I felt so happy uh, because I, uh, I could have helped I helped her and uh, I gave something from my knowledge to the world and I uh, the event she was creating was was going to um, be connected to women, women who are um, mothers and who are singing lullabies to their babies, which I um, found out it's absolutely amazing uh, thing because this is honoring mothers and how much work they do and what they do for the children and how they raise their children and how much care they give to their children. So uh, this was something I um, think it's really important and it's really important to um, support mothers, to support women and to do everything in our power to make them special because the work they do is sometimes something not a lot of people admire, but we know how difficult it is to raise a child the right way. So I found uh, an article today about uh, spending time uh, at home, and I'm going to give you some tools, and I'm going to make you think about some things which you can do at home. The first one is learn a language. It's really amazing to know another language, because when you meet people who speak the language, you know uh, it's absolutely, absolutely um beautiful to know how to uh, interact with them and although they know the English it's that they feel so special for themselves and you feel um, feel so good for yourself because you have the opportunity to share your knowledge uh, with them and uh, to um, be able to connect with them in a different level so this is something you can do at home Practice a nail art. This is for the women uh, because a lot of nail salons right now are closed all over the world. And uh, we can uh, practice a way to make ourselves beautiful because women don't feel really good when they don't look um, the right way and they uh, uh, feel like, uh, you know, their uh, self-esteem is just a little bit going down just because they don't have the... They're not. They don't have the nails. They don't have the way to go and um, do their nails. So you can do it at home. Uh, you can do it um, with uh, artificial nails, and you can do it your own nails. And there's so many videos on YouTube where you can go and uh, learn how to do it uh, with uh, step-by-step instructions 
So this is something you can do at home, and it's a good way. It's a learning um, opportunity for you. Uh, and it, again, knowledge is absolutely, absolutely amazing to uh, be able to do something to push yourself and uh, surprise yourself how much you can um, accomplish by staying home. The other thing you need to do, I don't know um, you, but me especially, I even, I was working at my wardrobe, I need to do some things and clean my wardrobe and, de- and get uh, some things which I can um, donate and uh, clothes which I'm not going to wear. So this is another way to spend your time. Most of us have at least one dress that we know we have never wear again on a pair of jeans that just don't fit the way they used to. It's time to declutter your wardrobe and get rid of those set pieces that no longer see the light of day. Either onto friends and family, donate them to charity, or the very best, find your nearest clothing bank and recycle. So uh, I think um, this is going. This is a good way to spend your time also. Another thing you need, you can do is learn to make a cocktails and be a concierge. Um, you can grab a book um, from Amazon and um, order it, and you start. You can learn an, another skill because making a cocktails um, requires knowledge, and you will um, again feel good for yourself and feel happy because unhappiness. It's absolutely everywhere for people who don't know what exactly they um, can do to um, to keep themselves occupied. And uh, this is uh, from here is coming the, all the anxiety and all the stress and everything on the top of trying to um, trying to have power over what's going on around you and because we all know that we don't have power over what's going on around us most of the time and things happen for uh, to us uh, we never anticipated and uh, you shouldn't pressure yourself by pressuring yourself you are um, creating all these unpleasant feelings the other thing you can do is make a bucket list, think positive, and look ahead in sunny days to making a bucket list rather than wallowing in your pajamas for the fifth day in a row. We all been there, change your outlook and reflect on all the things you'll be able to do once lockdown restrictions are lifted. Looking to travel more, these scratch off maps are perfect to planning your next adventure. So traveling, it's absolutely fabulous. Plan your next trip um, and do uh, make a bucket list of the places you want to visit. A unique language in its own right, sign language may seem like an intimidating skill to learn, but with a number of easy step-by-step guides at your disposal, you'll be signing like a pro in no time using uh, again this is another language learning how to um, how to use your fingers and talk to somebody so uh, it's another skill you can learn and you can benefit uh, from it the other thing is repair look your clothes if you have clothes which are torn and have a hole or missing something um, a zipper or um, Anything you can, uh, you know, again, learn another skill, start to sew it and uh, fix your clothes. And again, it's a it's a good way to um, keep your um, self-occupied with sewing. Another thing you can do is learn to play an instrument, like, for example, a piano or a guitar, or, you know, anything that you have been trying to do for quite a while and learning to play an instrument of course is always a good thing because it's going to bring uh, to your life other people from other um, you know other ways of other uh, walks of life and you can of course share your knowledge with them and it's 
a good way to make a connection with uh, musicians. And who knows, it, this might be something you would you would be will, willing to do in the future, or like playing the music and for your friends, or um, doing anything you want, like probably composing a song. Something that is going again. It's a good way to spend your uh, free time. Become a wine concierge. Discover which wines you like and why. Read about the journey from grape to glass and build on your understanding of wine tasting. Update your CV and professional accounts. Before lockdown, the idea of dating your CV. Cover letter on LinkedIn profile. Profile might not have been very high up on your priority list. Rather than putting it off and no longer, why not give all your professional documents and accounts a total makeover? Use the present period to work towards an even brighter future. Yeah, you can do that. And um, I don't know uh, your um, laptop, your electronics, how they will work, but mine is overcrowded because I don't have time to clean my uh, my laptop, so that's what I'm uh, thinking about doing today. Actually, kind of get rid of all the old things I don't need because um, this is important to take care. For electronics, iPad, uh, iPhone, even, uh, and everything else, just get rid of all the unnecessary files, things you would never use anymore. If you do blogging, if you do any kind of media media marketing or anything like this, you can do that. So I, I strongly recommend clean your electronics because it takes a lot of time. I'm sure it's not going to take only one or two hours. It takes um, a lot of time to do that. And of course, you're going to be pre preoccupied thinking about um, how to organize your uh, electronics. Start a blog. A blog is a really absolutely amazing way to bring some um, people even to sell a product and um, market anything. People are very interested in blogging. You can learn the skills of blogging and you can even create a living for yourself by doing that. So I definitely, definitely recommend and it takes time and it takes um, a lot of uh, research as well. So you can uh, make your blog look nice and um to get to the point where people are going to start commenting. And again, it's a good way to connect with other people, other cultures also, because people are coming from different countries on a global level and uh, commenting, and uh, it's absolutely incredible. Get fit, it means do you exercise? I know a lot of people are overeating right now, so uh, you can start uh, doing your exercise every day, doing the, in, uh, taking care for yourself and exercise. You can do it for an hour. You can do it for 15 minutes. You can do it even for five minutes. So, uh, and you, it's going to benefit yourself in a healthy way, and yeah, your body is going to thank you at the end. Do some gardening. You can do some gardening if you have this opportunity. If you have a house. Plant some flowers, organize your garden, and uh, again, uh, you can spend a week doing that. So these are just some of the things I would like to share, as well as you can buy my book, The White Within and the Journey of Transformation, which are very empowering and inspiring books. And uh, you can uh, also get some other tips how to spend your time during a lockdown and uh at the same time, it's going to give you a healthy ways to eat and a healthy ways to think, which uh, is absolutely important because positive thinking is healthy thinking and it's going to get you a long way instead of being negative and uh, being concentrated on the things you don't want to be concentrated. So thank you so much for being with me. I hope this is going to help you somehow. I'm trying my best to do um everything in my power to help people. I'm here to help you, to make you feel better and to um, make sure that you not experience any painful experiences like anxiety, stress, and all of these uh, which are impacting your body and impacting your existence. 
for the women of, uh, who are experiencing domestic violence, there's so many cases uh, right now I'm watching and my heart is crying. Please, please, if you're in the domestic violence relationship, find a way out as soon as possible. I'm trying my best commenting in groups of domestic violence. Right now I have a lot of time. Uh, please find a way out. Um, get away right away because your life is online and I'm absolutely, absolutely devastated to see so many women dying right now as well as children. And uh, for the both partners in the relationship, my advice is please separate from each other because both of you are going to um, be um, impacted by what's going on and you're impacted. Find an intelligent, rational way to deal with the situation and uh, continue your life because uh, nothing good comes from um, hurting each other, either physically, verbally, and the end outcome is uh, absolutely tragic. So thank you so much for being with me. I wish you an amazing weekend. My website is theannabelloros.com. Schedule a free consultation. If you want to talk to somebody, I'm here to guide you and to help you and to give you all the tools that you're going to benefit from it. I wish you an amazing weekend again. Love and light. God bless. And um, be safe, be happy, and uh, use your time to do the things you always wanted to do. Goodbye.